something happened today that I'm incredibly happy about. And some of you know exactly what I'm going to say. For the rest of you, this is the 125 games that were originally released for in television. Plus some re-releases or label variants or whatever you want to call them. Wow, <laughs> I'm really excited about this. This took a long time to achieve, and and it definitely wasn't cheap. Like the, Some of these games are really expensive, and so I honestly didn't know if I was ever going to achieve this, but I have, and I, I'm just, wow, I'm excited. <laughs> this is just awesome. So when I was a kid... I first started playing in television when I was four, almost five years old. When I was nine, my family moved from Yakima, Washington to Sydney, Ohio. And during that move, my mom decided to throw away my Intellivision boxes. And so I still had the manuals, the games, and the overlays, but not the boxes. And it was a major bummer. However... That's kind of how I did things from then on out. I mostly just went after the cartridge. And so another thing that I used to do is I used to put my games in a baseball card box just like this because I found that it was just easy to keep them in a baseball card box. It, it kept them organized and kept them all in the same place. So and then that way I could sit on the floor with my Intellivision in front of me and my games off to the side and I could just pick through them and put them back into the box when I was done. And it just made it much easier than, you know, having to put them in and take them in and out of the box, uh, the individual boxes every time. When I was 18, I sold my Intellivision collection for gas money, which was incredibly dumb on my part because I didn't get a whole lot of money for them. When I was around 25 or so, I decided to start collecting them again. I still kept some of them around. I didn't sell all of them off. For example, this uh, Advanced Dungeons & Dragons right here is the uh, one that I've been playing since I was four or five years old. And same with this uh, Tron Deadly Disc here. Either way, <laughs> here they are. The, I finally have them all. They're, they've been sorted alphabetically according to the uh, list on the uh, Intellivision website, which I will link in the description. And so I thought it would be fun to kind of go through them really quick and uh, you know, just kind of tell you which ones to look for, which ones are you know the hardest to find, which ones are the most expensive. You know, they all kind of fall into that same bracket and right next to these I actually have my LTO flash and so if you ever felt like this is too much for you that's the way to go because that that is the price of like maybe like one of these more expensive games and so yeah I really love my LTO flash and this is what I use primarily to play games now but it was still important for me to have all these and so let's kind of dive in take a look here and so backgammon which i don't really ever play a d and d one of my all-time favorite games a d and d treasure of tarman and they're one of my all-time favorite games armor battle which is <laughs> my dad and i used to play this game all the time and he, he used to kick my ass at it. But as I practiced, I used to kick his ass at it. And it got to the point that he would, like, rage quit because I would kick his ass so hard at it. Astro Smash, and are one of those amazing games that you can sit and play for hours at a time. Atlantis. Uh, I like this one way more than the one on the 2600. Auto Racing, which gets a lot of hate. But if you know what you're doing and you pick the car that's going to um work best for you then you might actually have a a fairly decent time playing that game b17 bomber of course uh uses the intellivoice i always really like this game and yeah you know angry video game nerd b17 bomber right <laughs> and here you got beam rider one of my favorite versions 
Really fun. Good Activision game. Beauty and the Beast. The first game I've reviewed this one. Uh, first game, first new game that I ever bought with my own money that I earned. Blockade Runner, which has the cool cartridge going on. Pretty good game too. I enjoy that one. Body Slam, Super Pro Wrestling, an NTV game. That one wasn't cheap. The price tag is on the bottom of it. It was $65. And uh, yeah, that's that's actually a pretty damn fun game. Bomb Squad, an Intellivoice game that I always enjoyed as a kid, but was never able to get all that far. I never did crack the code. Boxing, which is actually a really good game. Uh, where it was for its time, anyhow. I enjoyed it. Bump and Jump, which is actually a really hard port of the arcade game. I, I was never really good at this port. Maybe I should practice. I also have the NTV re-release there. Burger Time, which I reviewed, one of my favorite games. I think that the Intellivision version is the best version of Burger Time. I like it way more than the original arcade game. Buzz Bombers, love this game, a lot of fun, love the music on the uh, title screen. Carnival, which I never really thought this game was all that great. It's not bad. Uh, I have that on 2600 and ColecoVision as well. And then here you got a game that's hiding. You got Centipede, which I won't try to shove back. Well, I guess I can try to shove it back in there. There we go. Centipede, probably not my favorite version, but definitely is good still. Championship Tennis. I've never been much of a tennis game fan, but I have it. That one's kind of harder to find. Checkers. Good old Checkers. Chip Shot. Super Pro Golf. Also a little bit harder to find. Not a big golf fan, though. Commando, which may actually be the worst version of Commando out there. It's pretty awful. And it's uh, not exactly a pricey game, but it's it costs a little bit more than the, than the commons. There's Congo Bongo, which is really hard to find on the Intellivision. Um, got lucky on that one and did a trade with the Game Czar. And we got down here, we got Defender on Intellivision, which I actually really like this version of Defender. Gonna have to review that someday. And you got Demon Attack, one of my favorite games ever. And this kicks the shit out of the 2600 version. Don't even play the 2600 version, it's, it's essentially just Phoenix. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's still a good game. Like you, you should play all versions of Demon Attack, but I do think that the Intellivision version is the best by a lot. Now you get Dig Dug. Probably not my favorite version of the game, but it, it plays well. I like it. Diner, which is the sequel to Burger Time. Well, the unofficial sequel to Bur Burger Time, I think, maybe. I don't know. Either way. Fun game. I really like it. Donkey Kong, which is awful. I absolutely hate this version of Donkey Kong. It's a horrible port, and I don't suggest it. Donkey Kong Jr., also not very good. Dracula, very fun game. A magic game. You got Dragonfire, which is also a very fun game. Uh, I like that one. Just as much as the 2600 version, honestly. The Dreadnought Factor, which I absolutely love this game. It's a space shooter. It's it's a lot of fun. And this version is excellent. Math Fun and Word Fun. The Electric Company Math Fun and Word Fun. I, I don't play those. I mean, I just have them to have them. Frog Bog. Still a really really fun game especially if you're playing against somebody this was a game featured in grandma's boy if you've seen that movie fathom now that is a weird game i <laughs> you might want to get really stoned before playing that game because it, it's kind of out there but yeah that one 
That one isn't very easy to find. I actually got this from a guy named Hank off of Intellivision Invasion. I actually got a few of these off from Hank, but yeah, I do appreciate him hooking me up with that with a good price on that. Frogger, which is actually a pretty good port. I, I enjoy that version. Happy Trails. I never really got too into this game, but it's uh it's interesting. It's something to have. Horse racing, which I always thought was kind of boring. Hoverforce, that game's fun. Check that one out if you get a chance. Ice Trek, uh, that one's all right. The Jetsons, way with words or ways with words. Uh, yeah, it's it's okay. It's an ECS game. Um, it's decent. Kool Aid Man, I was never a super big fan of this game. Uh, it is different than the one that's on the Atari 2600, but I'm not saying that that's necessarily a good thing. Ladybug. This is a pretty solid port. I actually really enjoy that one. Poker and Blackjack, which was the uh, packing game for the console. I think this game actually holds up pretty well. It's, it's, it's cards. It's fun. Roulette, same thing. It's, uh, it's roulette. It holds up. Learning Fun 1 and 2. Now, those games are hard to come by. Like, this this one cost me like 100 bucks. This one cost me like 100 bucks or so. But, yeah, those are pricey. Like, uh, you might not be able to find them for that good of a price. Like, <laughs> not on eBay. Got Lock and Chase, which is uh, still a fun game. I still enjoy it. Uh, you got the uh, re re release here, and then the original Loco Motion, which is actually a Konami game. Uh, I never really cared for this game. It's all right though. Major League Baseball, which is actually a good game. I really enjoyed this back in the day, and it kicked the shit out of Atari's baseball. And then I also have the uh, this version of baseball, which. You know, originally it was released as Major League Baseball, but and then later on released as just baseball. Same game, though. He-Man, which I did a review on. Love it. One of my favorites. Melody Blaster, which is used with the uh, synthesizer, which I don't currently have, unfortunately. But it's cool. Microsurgeon, which is very unique. It's... It's a lot of fun if you if you can figure it out. It's it's actually a lot of fun. Mind Strike, uh, which I've always been a really big fan of. That's a David Warhol game. Love that game. Actually, it's one of my favorites. Mission X is pretty fun. It's you know airplane shooter kind of game. I like it. Motocross came out really late in the Intellivision's lifespan. Um, you know, I haven't really played it a whole lot, so I don't really have much of an opinion on it. I should play it someday. Mountain Madness, Super Pro Skiing. Uh, that, it's pretty fun. I like it. Like, I, I don't know if I like it as much as the original skiing. Like, some people like it more. I kind of like the original more, but that's me. Mousetrap, uh, pretty good version. Like, uh, I also have this one on ColecoVision and 2600, um, I think that it's probably a little bit better on ColecoVision, but and you got Mr. Basic meets meets uh, Bits and Bytes. Uh, it's okay. You got Soccer. I, I've never been a super huge soccer fan, but it's it's a decent game. NBA Basketball, which uh, still holds up well. Uh, NFL football, which is uh, okay, you know, I mean, if you have the playbook and everything, then it's uh, it's pretty involved for how old it is. NHL hockey, I actually really like that game. I, I played the hell out of this back in the day. Night Stalker, very first game for the Intellivision I ever played. Absolutely love it. Incredible game. And there's a re-release of Night Stalker. Nova Blast, you know, I haven't really played this game a whole lot. I should, I should though. Bowling, which is, uh, it's bowling. It, it looks good. It, the graphics actually hold up really well, still, in my opinion. Golf, 
Uh, a lot of people really liked this game back in the day. I've never been a super huge golf fan, but there it is. Pac-Man, which uh, this version is so much better than the Atari 2600 version. Like, it, it, it's still, it's still, like, way different than, like, the arcade original, but it, it's good. I like it. Pinball, which is fun. It's pinball. <laughs> you got Pitfall, which is a lot of fun. I mean, if you played it on a 2600, then it's uh, essentially the same game. You got Pole Position, which is actually a fairly decent arcade port. The car kind of looks like a lawnmower. <laughs> it's kind of... Uh, it's all right. I think they could have done better with that one. Popeye, which uh, is pretty good. Like, you know, it, it doesn't look as good as the arcade original, but it 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 holds up pretty well. Same with Qbert. It holds up well. Uh, you got Reversi, or whatever it's called. Uh, never been much of a fan of that one. And you got River Raid, which if you haven't played the Intellivision version, I highly suggest that you do. It's a lot of fun. Royal Dealer, which is, uh, you know gambling game i i never cared for that one uh safe cracker which i haven't really do dove into very much i i definitely should though scooby-doo's maze chase that's an interesting one that uh works with the uh ecs sea battle which is man that game it's it's kind of slow and you got to learn how to play it but once you do that game gets really involved and it becomes a lot of fun Sewer Sam, a lot of fun, kind of a platformer kind of deal. Shark Shark, one of my favorites. It's easy to play. It's just, you know, basic concept. You're a fish eating fish that are smaller than you, and you're trying not to get eat, eat, ate by the shark. Sharp, sharp Shot, never really played a whole lot. Slam Dunk, Super Pro Basketball, holds up still fun game slap shot super pro hockey another one of those games that holds up well still a lot of fun snafu absolutely love snafu remember that game snake for nokia cell phones it's kind of like that but better space armada which is a um space invaders clone it holds up well it plays well space battle one of my favorites I reviewed it. Space Hawk. Uh, I've never cared for Space Hawk. You're kind of floating around shooting things and controls are kind of slippery and meh. I've, I, it's just, just not one of my favorites. Space Spartans. One of my favorites. I've reviewed that one. Now here's Spiker. Super Pro Volleyball. And I'll actually pull that one out. Uh, this one was not cheap. That's what I paid for it. And that was uh, two, three years ago or so. And, you know, no regrets. <laughs> I, I'm happy to have the original. Stadium Mud Buggies is one of those games that will set you back quite a bit of money. Uh, I don't know what a loose cart is worth nowadays. Maybe like 150 bucks or so. But, yeah, that's that's one of the big boys there. And it's actually a really good game. Stampede where you're uh, wrangling up uh, cows or whatever. I, I've never really cared for that game. I have it on the 2600 as well. Star Strike, which looks amazing, but unfortunately graphics don't make the game, and I've never been all that good at this game. So, uh, you know, maybe I should practice and become better at it. The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, which I also have on the 2600. I like this version a lot more. Sub Hunt, which I never got super into, but it has submarines in it. Super Cobra, that's another one of those kind of expensive games. Got this from a dude named uh, Pascal, I think is his name, off in Television Invasion on Facebook. And uh, yeah, I got that. I got the box and everything for that one. Not a cheap game. And it's a lot of it's a lot of fun too. I should say that it's a good port. Super Pro Decathlon. I never got super into, but it's obvious what that one's about. 
Super Pro Football. Definitely an upgrade uh, to the original, but uh, you know I'm not, I'm not too into football games really. Swords and Serpents. That's an interesting one. Uh, you got the cool knight on the front of it and everything. Tennis, which uh, you know, good old basic tennis. Thin Ice is a lot of fun. Look into that one. You're like a penguin and a bunch of crazy shit going on there. <laughs> uh, Thunder Castle I love. Uh, love the music and everything for it. The graphics always looked really impressive, really good. Uh, you're a knight and you're trying to slay the dragons. And you got Tower of Doom. Love Tower of Doom. That's a really good dungeon crawler kind of game. Triple Action and Triple Challenge are actually two different games, and Triple Challenge is a lot of fun. Like you have different, you have the three different challenges. Like you got planes and uh, I think tanks. Uh, triple Action is like football and archery or something, or I forget. But I I never really got super into either of these. Triple Action is a lot of fun if you have other people around to play with. Tropical Trouble, which I also never got super duper into. Maybe I should someday. Tron Deadly Disc. Absolutely love this game. One of my favorites. Tron Maza, Mazatron, I never really cared for all that much. Like, I thought that Deadly Disc was kind of the definitive Tron game for the console. And then, of course, there's Tron Solar Sailor, which Keith Robinson worked on. And uh, I actually really like this game as well. That one's a lot of fun. I still like Deadly Disc more, though. <laughs> Trucking, which is interesting. You drive a semi-truck, and you have to, like, look at the manual and the road map and everything. You got Turbo, which is actually uh, a pretty damn good version of Turbo. I enjoy it. You got Tutankum, which is... This is another valuable game. It's, it's another one that you... Want to try to keep your eyes out for it's hard to come by. That's another one that I got from the Hangster off in Television Invasion. Skiing, which I enjoy. That's that's a, that's actually a lot of fun. You got chess, which you know, it's chess. Utopia, which is noted to be like the first God game. That game is involved. I really enjoy that one. That one's a lot of fun. Vectron. I honestly don't really know how to play this. Like, <laughs> when I was a kid and I first put this game in, I was like, what the fuck is going on? But, yeah, I, sh I should probably learn how to play this because it could be good. I just don't even know it. And you got Venture, which is actually a pretty damn good port of the original arcade game. I kind of like it a little bit more on the ColecoVision, honestly. Whitewater. Which I've uh, never really played yet, so I gotta play that someday. And you got World Championship Baseball. This is a really, really good baseball game, and I highly suggest it. If you like baseball games and you want to use your ECS and everything, uh, this is it. World Cup Soccer, which is, uh, you know, it's soccer. And you got, oh, excuse me, World World Series Major League Baseball is the one that I was thinking of with the ECS and all that. That one they added some stuff in, I forget what. I'm sure you could Google it, figure it out. But this one, this one is really good. Worm Womper, that game is a lot of fun. I really enjoy that one. Look that one up. And last but not least, Zaxxon, which is a fairly decent port. Right now I went ahead and sorted them a little bit before I put them back on my big master shelf here. Get the most expensive games here, including Spiker, both the Learning Funds, Stadium Mud Buggies, a bunch of NTV games there, Parker Brothers, Activision, A Magic, Atari Soft, Sega. CBS, Coleco, all of them are represented. And Televoice Games, 
ECS games. Just all of them. They're all there. So there you have it. The 125 plus some extras. Next step will will be to collect all of them complete in box. I'm already 40 boxes into it. So yeah, I'm just going to chip away at it. That way there's still something else to collect. And on top of that, there's uh, new games coming out for the Intellivision or Homebrew or whatever you want to call them. And I add those to my collection as well. But yeah, thanks for watching. And <laughs> this has been a really awesome experience for me. And yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'll ever get another uh, complete set of uh, anything. But this is the only one that I really, really wanted. So, wow. <laughs> I'm just so happy. <laughs> Look at him. Just look at him. It's insane. Super duper happy. Big thank you to everybody that helped me put this together. Also, uh, my buddy Russell, that's also in the uh, Intellivision Invasion group, helped me out with some of these as well. And uh, if I missed anybody, uh, thank you. <laughs>